No, what is, what is this? What is this flying and, no. No, 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 no. I don't really want to talk about Dune. I want to talk about art. Art is, art is important. And I will never pretend to understand what art is and means. But what I do understand is science fiction book covers. Sort of. And one of the most important science fiction book covers and maybe works of art, graphic art, in my life is right here. This is the version of Dune I bought back way long ago. Say what you will about this cover. It definitely has a kind of blandness to it slightly, but also a kind of prestige quality to it. I always loved this cover, maybe just because this was the cover in bookstores when I read Dune and when I was interested in Dune. This got me thinking about Dune cover art. Segway. Today I am rating and reviewing all of the Dune cover art that is out there, or at least the cover art that appears in this website. I found probably the perfect website for that. Hold on, let me put on my old man glasses. This is an article called Book Cover Trends Through Time Via Dune by Lauren Panapinto? Pan Panapinto. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Uh, wouldn't it be fun? Wouldn't it be just delightful if I went through these covers and rated them and I thought it'd be a nice tour through science fiction history, the spectrum of wonderful and horrendous, because there's not really a middle ground. How will I be rating this? Five is great. One is dog shit. Why is this breathing so fucking hard? So the first covers I'm looking at are from the pre-book history. Dune was first serialized in a magazine, early 1960s. This was the very first piece of Dune art. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's not what I picture when I think of Dune. There's a big piece of rock. It kind of looks like it could be any science fiction story. See, I'm a great art critic. <laughs> I could, I could do this. I mean, it's pretty, it's it's very pretty, but it doesn't make me think of Dune. It doesn't, I wouldn't, if I saw this, I wouldn't think Dune, you know? I think we have to wait later for that, which is wonderful because the next two illustrations, these might be my favorite Dune images, period. One is the sandworm, which with that three pronged, you know, sandworm mouth, it's just great. You have these figures huddled, you have this sense of scale, the colors are just so bombastic and so evocative, kind of artsy. And then the second one is what became the actual Dune cover, is also very artsy and, and, and beautiful and mysterious. This kind of carries me into the first edition of Dune. This cover of Dune was unique in that it wasn't trying to sell this science fiction aspect. Science fiction not typically taken seriously at the time, and it was published hardcover to give this sense of prestige. A lot of science fiction was just straight to paperback. This hardcover edition of Dune was trying to say, I'm important, listen to me. And the cover is kind of doing the same thing. You can't immediately tell that this is science fiction just based on the cover. There's no, there's no sandworms or anything, it's just people going through this kind of desert. And what I always loved about this cover is that it's not never what I expected the first cover of, of Dune to look like. But when you look at it, it's just perfect. I love how Frank Herbert's name is in yellow. The font of Dune is just this swirly, psychedelic, Thing, and then the image is just the texture of the paint. You can just feel it's very painterly. I don't know, can I say that or is that pretentious? It's pretentious, but I'm gonna say, it. God, it's gorgeous. The reds, you know, the red just seeping off of the painting. It's just amazing. The longer I look at this piece of art, the more I'm just mesmerized. Even though not much is depicted in it, it just, you get this kind of mystical, exciting Dune vibe that we all know and love. Just gosh, I, I love this. I love this cover so much. And apparently there was a map of Arrakis on the back, which is so cool. Original cover, five out of five, perfect. No complaints. The first paperback edition though, I'm gonna have to go with a solid three. You know, it's great. I like the font. I like the the rocks are nice, but it's very, it's not as evocative. It's a, It feels a bit more simple. And yeah, it looks like it could just be a book about any old desert. Who wants to read that? I sure don't. Now, the first editions for the rest of the series I'm going to get into because, oh boy, are they, Chef's Kiss, that is such an old meme, but I don't care. Dune Messiah 
I believe there was a different artist. It's fine. <laughs> Actually, eh. seems like Dune Messiah, they are kind of going for pulpy sci-fi. Back into this pulpy sci-fi. The first one has this very artsy cover. The second one is very, like, I don't know what that, that thing is, that bug-like thing. Is that a thopter or the birds? Like, uh, the head? I don't, there's so much going on here. It gives me kind of beneath the Planet of the Apes vibe. Planet of the Apes fans, you know what I mean. Two out of five. Children of Dune. I like it a bit more. This is actually the introduction of apparently of this famous Dune font. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, three out of five. I don't have much to say about it. God Emperor of Dune, first cover. Um, I think they did the best they could probably with the concept. A little more abstract, a little fuzzy. I actually like it quite a bit. It doesn't have the same kind of power of that that original cover, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna say four out of five. Heretics of Dune. I'm really meh on this one. Maybe it's because I don't fully know what's going on in this image. I'm gonna have to say 2.5. It's okay. Chapter House Dune. I really like this one. I think it's the same artist who did the original Dune cover. That's that's a pretty cover. That is a weird circular thing. I have no clue what that's supposed to be, but I'm here for it. I'm here for all of this. What are those things like obelisks? Do you know what I love about Chapter House Dune? That colon. I love a good, uh, a well-placed colon in a title. Chapter House Dune. I haven't read the book, but... <laughs> I'm sure the art is fitting. Next, we've got the 70s and 80s paperbacks. We have this cover of Dune. I, I'm getting 70s vi vibes. The face, the clothes, okay, not really what I think of Dune, but it's certainly unique and I really like that. I'm gonna go with a three out of five. Now, um, this is kind of the showstopper because I think this Dune Messiah cover is fucking amazing. It's so trippy and bizarre. You know, the big panorama. On the back, you have these flying saucers with these people on top of them. It gives me this kind of the Michael Whelan cover art for uh, the Martian Chronicles, the Ray Bradbury ones. It seems kind of like a similar pose. For some reason, this cover is just Dune Messiah to me. This is Dune Messiah. I didn't picture any of these images when I read the book, but after I read the book and I looked at this cover, I was like, yes, this is a solid five out of five, straight up. There was another printing that came out in the 80s. Oh boy, do I have opinions. Um, I'm gonna put them all up here together. Ah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not loving this. The sandworms are fucked up. There's kind of cool colors in there, but yeah, it doesn't work for me. I don't like the font. Why are the sandworms blue? The 80s were fucked, man. God Emperor of Dune? No, no, what is, what is this? What is this flying in, no. No, 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 no. Heretics of Dune? What are those tube things that hamsters crawl through? That's what the sandworms look like in this. I do not, I don't, no. Thank God I wasn't alive in this time because I would not have touched these books. That's hyperbole. And I apologize to people who like these covers. You know what? I'm sure if I grew up with these covers, I would like them because that's kind of how it tastes work. One out of five. Next, ones that are close to my heart also because these are the ones, I checked out this Dune Messiah one from my college library. It looks like they reworked most of the original Dune cover art. They, they fucking slap. These are the best paperback copies of Dune. I don't love the actual Dune cover though. Uh, of these paperbacks. I don't like how there's like skyscrapers in the back. Like this just looks like Phoenix, Arizona. Dune Messiah, huge step up from the original. The head is better. There's no flying shit around it. I like how all these books have the same font also. Children of Dune, it's whatever. It's fine. God Emperor of Dune. <laughs> this is a five out of five out of this series. You got these people standing there with their arms up like, whoa, whoa, like easy there, pal. I love how it's the worm is like coated in like steel plating. I don't know why, at least that's what it looks like. It's so fucking weird. I want, that makes me want to read God Emperor of Dune this instant. Heretics of Dune, this one is gorgeous. I mean, that's another five out of five out of this series. The worm and how the guy is just like Moses just like controlling the worm. At least that's what it looks like to me. Does Moses make an appearance in Heretics of Dune? Um, possibly. Chapter House Dune, great original cover art. Overall, this whole collection of paperbacks, five out of five. All right, so we have a few other ones. Frank Herbert's classic Dune. <gasps> what? Oh no, I'm not even, I'm not gonna comment on this. It's fucking awesome, I'll, I'll just say that. Now these ones, whew. I really love these. They don't have the typical Dune font, but this font works 
great. And all of the art, it coheres all of these covers. That's what I love about it. These are five out of fives. These are really gorgeous. The colors, the contrast, the mood, they all kind of look similar. I wouldn't really be able to pull each one out from each other. It's fine because they are just, you know, I'd say Chapter House Dune probably has the worst one. The Dune and Heretics of Dune ones really those are those are look really good and the god emperor of dune man that's like jesus worm all right now we're getting to the probably one that is very fond to a lot of people which is the movie tie-in from the 80s what can you say i think it's i think it's great this doesn't look as fucking stupid as a lot of the movie tie-ins that books get these days with just like actors faces on it like the lord of the rings movie tie-ins give me a fucking break but this movie tie-in it you you don't even think that it's a movie tie-in because it's just so discreet on the top, just the best-selling science fiction novel, now a movie beyond your imagination. I love it. I love the colors. It's just, that's a, a solid four out of five. Now I'm going to skip over ahead 2000s. Now the author of this article says that they play too safe for their liking and feel generic. These are the editions of the books that I fell in love with. The original Dune, it's the only one that has an actual photograph on it, which is a little weird, but it, it looks classy. It really does. Dune Messiah, I like that they incorporate the original art. It's, it was probably a cost-saving method. I think it looks nice. Children of Dune, that one looks pretty good. God Emperor of Dune, man. I think they improved the cover, the old paperback cover, the silver, the, it's just weird as hell. Like you're missing part of the image. Like it feels like there's more to be seen. There's more you wanna see in this picture of this worm god. Heretics of Dune, beautiful. Chapter House Dune, great. They are classy. They are very 2000s. I, I love these copies. I wish honestly that I could still buy these copies. You know, I should have got them when I had the chance because now we have moved to a new era. Now we have moved to a very minimalist style. I know a lot of people love these new covers. I, there's a certain quality I miss. Plays it really safe, I think, and that's fine. They're not like stuff that I just want to look at them all day or I just want to explore the images or I feel transported to another world, you know? It just feels like, oh, this is a pretty thing I can place on my bookshelf. It's gonna look nice in the background, right? I mean, it looks good. It looks pretty classy. There's there's a certain je ne sais quoi that is absent. I see why people love them, and I think they're they're worthy of love. And I, you know, maybe upon reading this, I'll have spent enough time with the cover art to go, man, those are beautiful, great covers. There's also this new edition that everyone talks about and loves. I think it's the 40th. 50th anniversary edition, yeah? All right, people might hate me for this, but I really, really, really dislike this book cover. The text maybe reminds me a bit of like a dinosaur themed book. I don't like the way the guy's staring into the camera like that. It just looks like very Hollywood postery. Feels too modern. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I am stuck in the past. What does that say about me? Who the fuck knows? And that's that. What do you uh, what do you people think? Huh? Do you do you like the new covers? Do you like the old covers? What's the best era of Dune book covers? Is there stuff I didn't touch on? Are there foreign covers that look much better. I don't know. Just let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And yeah, that's all I got to say.